Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Lawrence, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, Chief Medical Officer of the Plastic Surgery Channel, and welcome to PSC Hot Bites, our newest program where the channel's experts cut to the chase, providing real answers to questions you want to know on hot plastic surgery procedures, topics, or technology. We want to help dispel the myths and marketing spin that often plagues patients and help you get the real story from our credible team. Joining me today via webcam is Dr. Jack Gunner from Dallas, Texas. Jack, great to have you on with us. Thank you, Bill. So, uh, Jack, you know, you are probably the most well-known rhinoplasty surgeon in the world. Uh, you've really taught thousands of plastic surgeons how to do a rhinoplasty. But what's important for a patient to know that wants to have a rhinoplasty? Well, Bill, I don't know if I'm the world's best known rhinoplasty surgeon, but I can tell you that uh, what I would like to, for the audience to know is that rhinoplasty is the most difficult operation we do in plastic surgery. It, uh, you know, it uh, is not one that we get a perfect result every time, but if you can get a good improvement, that, would, that is a, the goal of a rhinoplasty. A nose doesn't have to look to be a certain certain have a certain look to be good. A nose has to be in proportion with the rest of the face and in harmony with the rest of the face and look like it hadn't been operated on. And if you can get those two things, the proportion and harmony and the natural look, then you've really got got the a good result from your rhinoplasty. Because it's such a difficult operation, I think that uh, it makes sense that a person that, that does a lot of rhinoplasties is going to be is probably going to be better than somebody who doesn't do very many rhinoplasties. So I think as a consumer, you ought to ask your plastic surgeon how many rhinoplasties he does a year, and if that's one of the top operations that it, that he does. And if he says yes, that it, that you know that he does several rhinoplasties a week, and that uh, that's his primary interest, well then uh, you know you've got somebody you want to interview. But I wouldn't just interview one person. I would interview more than one person. Well, Jack, that's really super information. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Well, thank you, Bill. It was my pleasure, too. We hope you enjoyed this segment of PSC Hot Bites, and be sure to get your next bite on our website, theplasticsurgerychannel.com, and we'll see you again soon. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Lawrence, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel.